I just built an AI system that's able to help me publish my content onto all my social media platforms and even write unique captions in my own brand messaging. So let's start off by seeing how this works. Firstly, I have an Airtable over here where I just have to upload the videos that I want to post as well as give it a content name and a simple description. Once I change the status to ready to upload, I'll go into my NEN workflow and all I gotta do is to click execute workflow and a publishing agent will create a unique caption for me and upload my video onto all my social media platforms. Let's give it a moment and see what we get. All right, now that it's completed, let's go back to Airtable first. You can see the status for this video has been changed to posted and you can take a look. The best way to identify a great friend is how they react when you win. Real so this is the video that we want to post onto all our social platforms. So now let's go into our accounts and see what we get. It's been uploaded onto all different platforms with different unique captions. Take a look at Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Threads, X, and Facebook and so on, right? And it's able to create different captions for each of them. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build this system for yourself and how you can leverage this. So let's get right into it. Now, before we continue, if you came across this video, I believe you fall into one of these two categories. Firstly, you want to build this for yourself. You could be a solopreneur, marketer, or business owner looking to build a content system to help you streamline content production, increase your reach, and grow your own business or your own content channels. This system is useful for you because firstly, it helps you save time, allowing you to repurpose your content onto all the different social media platforms, allowing you to gain more awareness by publishing to all platforms with just one click and grow faster with unique captions that matches your own brand style. Of course, you could also fall into the second category to build for clients. And how does this workflow benefit you? If you fall into this category, you can actually leverage this workflow to create publishing systems for your own clients to manage and automate their content calendar. You could also sell this system as a service by packaging it as an offer and help your clients increase their reach with customized brand specific posting schedules and captions as well. Now this specific workflow is built on NAN, a no code tool, which allows us to customize different types of automation systems for our own use cases. By using this system, you firstly don't have to pay for expensive tools like Hootsuite. And on top of that, this system is also flexible and customizable to your own unique needs. The greatest value about a no-code system like this is that you can actually customize how you want a system to run based on your own brand or client's needs. For example, if you look at the demo earlier, I want the AI agent to be able to customize unique captions to my own brand messaging. And so I created a publishing agent to create different type of captions for me for the different platforms. Beyond that, you can also leverage this system to do other things, generating videos in your own specific brand needs and then connecting it to this specific system in your own specific brand tone, helping you get the results that you want. Now, besides that, one of the additional features in this system that I find super valuable is the new Blotato node. It makes it super easy for me to connect to all my social media platforms APIs. Now, if you're like me, they have been trying to connect to all my social platforms using the own developer APIs, you realize that it can be quite complicated and there can be some security issues and many different API documents that you have to go through. Now, thanks to this new Blotato node feature, it allows us to connect to all these different APIs. And all we got to do is just to log into our account in Blotato and we'll be able to connect it to all our social platforms and post it in the way that we want. And so if this sounds interesting to you, let's go into how I structured and build this system so that you can build it for yourself too. To make this learning process easier for you, you can join my community link in the description below to gain access to these blueprints as well as many other plug and play blueprints that you can use for your own content automation systems. Now let's go into how this actually works. First off, let's start off with Airtable. In my Airtable build, I have two main tables over here. The first is the main table. Right in this section, I just want to be able to have a simple database where I can add in my content with the name, description, and the link. Following that, I just want to have a status tab where I am able to toggle this to ready to upload so that it's able to trigger the AI automation and upload this video for me and then upload the status to post it. This main page would be what I use to keep track of whether my videos have been posted or not onto my platforms. Following that, I have the second table, which is the examples table. This is what I use to actually help me create different types of captions for each of the different social media platforms. I have one for every single platform that I want to upload from Instagram all the way to threads. And then for each of them, I have an instruction section as well as three different examples. Let's open this up to take a look. You can see I have an instruction of how I want the caption to be like. I have some examples so that the AI can reference these later to write the captions for me. And so later on in the workflow, the AI would actually reference this to generate the captions for us. Okay, and that's it for Airtable. Now let's go into any end to see how I build out the automation system. Let's take a look at any end over here. I have two main categories. The first one is the get video and create captions category, where I'll get the video from Airtable and then create captions for us. The second part is to post the video to all my social platforms over here. And this is where I mainly use the Blotato node to help me do so. Let's start with the first section first to see how this works. 
In the first section, I start off with a manual node so that I can execute by clicking manually. The second one is the search record node for Airtable. This is what I want to use to retrieve the videos that I have on Airtable over here. So all I got to do is to have an Airtable node. The operation is search and I want to connect it to my credential. And to get a credential, you just have to go into Airtable.com slash create slash tokens. Make sure these three scopes are given. Give it a name and then you want to give it access to the Airtable base, the one that we have over here. Now, once you have that, you want to choose your base and your table. And then we want to filter by formula. I'm going to set it status to ready to upload. This is so that the Airtable will only get the video that I set ready to upload and post these videos for us, right? So for example, if I were to grab this, change to ready to upload, it will post this specific video for us. Once that is completed, you can see over here, this is from our previous demo. It actually gotten the boss baby video over here because we set it to ready to upload earlier on. Once I have the information over here, I have the name, the description, as well as the link. This is where I can pass to the caption agent to craft the captions for us. Now, before we go into the publishing agent, what I want to do next is to create a code note. Now, why is that so? Is because I want to convert the format of the link to be able to use for uploading to Blutato. So if I go into the API for Blutato over here, you can see for upload media, it will be good to have the format of the Google Drive link to be in this specific format. What I actually did is I went to ChatGPT and asked it to create a JavaScript node for me to convert my type of link, which is something like this, to a link that looks like this. So if you take a look at any end, come back here, I created a code node and I have this JavaScript code over here that helps me transform the link over here to this specific format. And this will be useful for me to upload to Blutato later on. Okay, once that is completed, now we're going to go into the publishing agent. This is where I have an AI agent node. And firstly, I'll connect it to an AI model. I'm going to use something called Open Router. Okay. Open router allows me to connect to different types of models like GPT, Claude, and so on. So I like to use it because I just have to create one account. So to do so, just have to go into openrouter.ai and you just have to create an account here and add in some credits. Okay, and then you want to get your API keys over here. Once you get the API key, go back to any end, create a new credential, add in your API key. And then you can select the models that you want. So there is a lot of models here, which makes it very good. I'm going to choose GPD 4.1 mini for this example. Okay. And once that's done, I will give it a tool, right? So for this AI agent, remember, I want it to be able to use this examples as reference. So I'm going to give it an error table too. And I want it to be able to search records. I want a base to be the ultimate publishing system that I have over here. And then the table would be the example table over here. And now I set it filter by formula defined by the model. So the model will decide what to get from this table. Okay. And then I want it to return all. So what this does, you can take a look over here is that it actually gets the instructions for each of the different platforms so that it can use to craft its captions later on. Once we have these two set up, let's go into the publishing agent to see what kind of instructions we give it to write the captions for us. Open this up. For an agent, we do have two main categories. The first is the user message. The second is the system message. So the user message is what we send to the agent and the system message is the instruction on how it should craft the output for us. So starting off the user message, I just want to give it the name and description of our video. So if you open up the previous notes over here, search records, you can see I have the name and description given in the error table over here. So what I do is I will pass this over by drag and drop. I just have to paste this in. I will just type name and description over here so that the AI know what's the name of the video as well as some main descriptions that you can use to create the captions for us. Once this is done, I want it to set require specific output format because I will have the output in JSON later on. We will go into that in a little bit but let's open up the system message first. Okay. And I'll start off by giving it a role. So I tell it that it's a social media caption generator that creates platform specific captions for a given video. 
I wanted to use the platform styles and guidelines and real examples stored in Airtable. I'm also going to define the tool that it's going to use. So remember, we have the get examples tool over here. So if you go into the system prompt, I want to make sure the name is the same. The tool is the get example tool. And I want to call this tool to get the example reference to craft unique captions for each platform. After defining the tool that it's going to use, it's given a name and description of a specific video. Using that, I want to craft unique captions for the video for each platform. And the steps are as follows call the tool and get the examples and then craft the unique captions for each platform using the instruction and examples and then return the output in the JSON format below. And then lastly, how to search for instructions. I wanted to filter by platform equals to the platform name, right? Take a look over here. You want a platform to be the platform name. And then lastly, I want the output to be in this specific format. And what this does actually is to help me separate all the output for each of the platform. What this means is that instead of returning one full text for me, it's going to return individual captions for each of the platform that looks like this so that I can map it to all my different accounts and post different captions for me. After setting required specific output format, go into output parser and make sure the output example is in this JSON format. And there we have it. We will have the captions generated for us uniquely for each platform. Now that we have reached this part, we are completed with the captions. The next thing we need to do is to upload them and we are good to go. The next thing I want to do is to connect it to Botato. I'm going to go into Botato over here and I'm going to create an account. I'm going to go into settings and all I got to do is just to log into all the accounts that I want to post my content for. They do have all the different platforms over here that you can use. So it's very intuitive and very easy to log in. You will have all of them shown over here below. Okay. So once I've logged into all my account, I just want to get the API key. I'll go into API and I'll just copy my API key to use. Now let's go back to any end. You can just create a Bloodtato node by searching for Bloodtato. And here you have it. And you can see they have two main actions. The first is upload media. The second is create post. So we're going to run through each of them in this system. The first thing I want to do is to create an upload media node. This is pretty useful because we can upload our video into a temporary database, allowing us to post our videos onto all the social platforms. This is super useful because if you were to do it by yourself, sometimes you need to publicly host it on something like Cloudinary and all the other platforms. But with this upload media, it allows us to directly retrieve the video from our Google Drive link and then just upload it into this temporary database to upload to our social media platforms pretty seamlessly. And so what I need to do is to just get the URL from the code node earlier, drag and paste this in. And then the operation will be upload and we're good to go. You can see this video has been uploaded over here. Okay. Once we're done with that, now let's connect to the post node for us to post to all the social platforms. This example, I just want to post to seven different platforms that I would use myself, but you can also connect to the other nodes that they have to post to other platforms like Blue Sky and Pinterest as well. For each of the different platforms, they work pretty much the same. They do have unique platform features that you can actually utilize within the node. Let's start off with the Instagram node over here. Open this up. All you got to do is to set the operation to create and then you search for the platform Instagram and then you can just choose the account that you have connected in the Blotato app. And once you have done so, you have the option to add in your captions. So this is where I'm going to get the caption from the publishing agent. I'm going to find the Instagram caption, drag and drop this in. And then I'm just going to take the media URL from the previous node, drag and drop this in and we're good to go. For media type, you can choose either real or story, or you could even have videos as well. So that is pretty cool. Another cool feature is that you can also use the schedule time feature. And one of the cool add-ons that I believe that you can actually use this is to change this to expression. And you could actually do something like get the previous AI agent to create schedule time for your videos. And that becomes a unique customized schedule system for you that can be customized from the AI agent. That I believe could be a very valuable add-on to make your system even more powerful. All right, and that's it for the Instagram note. So I'm just going to set it as it is for now because I just want to post it as a reel with the captions. And then we're going to move on to LinkedIn. Same thing over here. We just have to connect it to LinkedIn, select my account. And I just have to drag my captions from my publishing agent as well and pass the media URL from the previous note. In LinkedIn, you also have the option to choose the LinkedIn page. So you don't have to just post on your LinkedIn account. You could also post on the page manage as well. You can also schedule the time for the post as well over here. Same thing here for the rest of the platform for YouTube. 
we just have to connect to the account as well, get our captions, media URL, and then you can select the privacy status, notify your subscribers and so on. So this is more YouTube native functions. And now let's move on to Twitter, which I think has an amazing feature that we could actually do as well. I just start off by posting a simple post. But one of the key things about Twitter is that people usually like to write threads as well. So they do have this thread option, which I think is a super cool add-on where you could actually add in the thread post and you can have the previous agent to write out different threads for you. So for example, my previous agent was customized to write captions, but imagine an agent write threads for you in this specific manner. You can create unique threads for your Twitter posts as well as add in media for each of the thread posts. So that is a pretty cool add-on. And then the same for TikTok. I just have to connect it to the URL and then get my captions from the previous output. And TikTok is one of the most complicated and difficult API to connect to if you have to do it manually. So using this Blotato node really saves a lot of time and makes it a lot easier for me to just connect it to TikTok. And then similarly for threads as well, you could also add in threads just like Twitter. And I connect my unique captions from my publishing agent as well as getting the media URL from the same node previously. And lastly for Facebook, I just have to select my account, choose my page, and then choose the media type to be Reels or Video, and I'm good to go. And that's how I actually publish it to all my different social media platforms, and hope that shows you how easy it is to set this up, and how you can actually do it for yourself, as well as utilize the features to not only use this workflow like how I did it, but also to customize it to your own specific needs, by adding the thread posts or the posts, other content like your stories and so on that matches your own specific brand needs. All right, and once this is done, all of this note will allow me to post all my content at the same time. And the last thing I wanna do is just to update my error table once again, so that I am able to know that my video has been posted. So how I do that is to firstly create a merge node and I just gonna merge all of them back into one single flow again. Open this up. I'm going to choose the mode combine and I'm gonna choose combine by positions and number of inputs seven. Now this is useful because I don't want to loop it over seven times and update my error table over and over again. So I just want to update my error table once to say that the video has been posted. Open this up and I will choose the main table. Okay. And I want to match the column by the ID and I will find the ID from the search record node, drag and drop this in to make sure we're getting from the correct video that has been uploaded. And we just want to change the status to post it. And that's it, there you have it, your own very customized publishing system. And so I hope you found this video valuable and you're able to now use this system to manage your content better, either for yourself or for your clients. Now, of course, like I mentioned, one of the greatest values of content systems like this is that you can customize it for your own specific needs. So if you really wanna go more in depth to build systems like these, get live support and help, I do have a community where you can go from zero to building your own content automation systems for your own use cases. We also have all our plug and play content systems that you can use right away, as well as ongoing community support to help you get to where you wanna be. So if you're interested to learn more, do join the community, link in description below. Once again, I really appreciate you for watching till the end. If you like videos like this, do give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.